hello everyone welcome to the smart life today i have a smart uv sterilizer from the xiaomi ecosystem i'll do an unboxing and full review of this product i got this lamp from banggood.com and uh, this is not the only uh, uv sterilizer available there are also other sterilization devices from xiaomi with this uv sterilizer you will be able to sterilize your home and protect yourself from the coronavirus or the covid19 disease as it can kill the coronavirus and other viruses as well so coming to the device itself as you can see it has a 32 watts uv lamp at the 220 volts and 50 hertz so if you are in other locations that has a 110 volts then you will not be able to use this device and it can also be connected to the mi home or the uh, media app with the uh, android or ios and it has wi-fi 2.4 gigahertz to your wi-fi home wi-fi and it also has a human motion sensor uh, inbuilt into this device so that if you walk in uh, during the sterilization process by mistake then it will be turning off because it is harmful to the human skin and human eyes so no human or any other moving objects should be present during the sterilization process the main thing i'll be testing is whether it produces ozone uvc lamps or the uv lamps uh, can produce ozone due to the ionization process so let's see whether it produces ozone or not and uh, whether the human motion detection works and how is the sterilization process okay let's unbox it Okay, this is the user's manual, but it is in Chinese. I think this information say that the uh, amount of sterilization needed is 15 minutes for 10 square meters and 30 minutes for 20 square meters and 45 minutes for 30 square meters of uh, space. So that is uh, a rough idea of how much time you should be sterilizing your place with. And this is the product itself. It's uh, nicely packed. Okay, so this is the device as you can see. It looks very nice and uh, these are flexible these are present to prevent any damage to the uh, lamp okay let's keep this aside okay coming to the device so the lamp here is made by philips they claim to have a 9000 hours of life and it is a 254 nanometers uv spectrum so that is the uvc spectrum okay it is a rohs rated and 32 watts uv lamp 32 watts uv lamp is quite large compared to other devices that is available online and another thing i want to tell about the uv sterilizers that are available online is that many of them are fake and uh, you should be very careful and buy only those sterilization devices from the reputable brands only because there are so many led blue led or like uh, violet leds available on in the market selling as uv sterilization lamps so but those are actually fake okay first let's check what is written here using a translator it says after turning on people should leave the room immediately because exposure to humans and animals will cause injury and it should be kept out of reach of children because the glass is very fragile and also the ultraviolet lamp is very dangerous so that's what it says let's try to power it up and connect to my me home app let me see the cable length 1.5 meters of cable length so let's try to power it up so it has a beep when you turn it on the light here is blinking if you can see let's check the me home app here okay this is the me home app and let's add a new device and it's scanning for devices and it has found the device actually as you can see it has found the five germicidal lamp and we can try to connect and we have to connect to this uh, wi-fi and now it's connecting let's check now it's blinking rapidly so now it's connected so we have to select a room so we can say bedroom so we can also name the device like this and the next okay let's get started so currently it is off and you can select uh, 15 minutes of sterilization or 30 minutes of sterilization and 45 minutes so if your room is very big then you can go for 45 minutes and 30 minutes for a medium sized room and 15 minutes for a small kitchen or a bathroom or something like that and let's see other options before we test this device so the name and the manage locations you can share this device to other people okay that's it so now let, we have to test this device and uh, physically it has a button here so if you press this button i think the sterilization process will start without the app so you don't actually need the app to start the sterilization process but the amount of time is set in the app so it's better to have an app connected by default the sterilization time is 30 minutes so i'll test it and show it to you okay uh, now let's test the device let's power on the device Okay, the device seems to have started. So it started with the beeping noise. 
initially the beep was uh, slow and then it started beeping higher frequency as you can see the countdown has started with the remaining of uh, 15 minutes so let's uh, run it for some time and let's see if there is any ozone produced i'm in the another room right now and i'll walk in into the current room and uh, we will see whether it actually stops the sterilization process by seeing my motion let's do that now okay so now it's uh it has detected the motion and because of my motion it has uh, stopped the sterilization process and now let's see if it starts again okay now it has started again the motion detection feature is working very well as expected and uh, it is very safe to use because if somebody accidentally walks in during the sterilization process then it will stop and issue a continuous beeping noise once the human or the motion is not detected anymore it will start again it will also issue an alert like this so personal activity is detected during the operation so that is uh, the case and uh, i'll turn it off for now the test is now successful when it's off it issues a long beep and another thing is i can feel a weird smell i think that is the ozone i think it is producing some ozone i'll now show you the manual operation of this device uh, there is a physical button here in order to operate this device a little bit complicated because uh, kids should not be able to use it so you have to long press first time then it will start this sequence the light is flashing there so you press it again it is going to start after 10 seconds if you leave but if you don't leave it will not start then if you want to cancel it then you have to press it twice so just press it twice and you can cancel the startup sequence so as you can see press it for a long time then it'll start a sequence and then you press it again then it's going to start actually i'll show you the start i'll leave for now from the room okay now the device has started as you can see and if you walk in so it is going to detect the human and it'll give you the beeping sound okay that was the test as you can see it worked very well and the motion detection also worked very well and uh, it produces ozone as i can smell the ozone uh, from the uvc sterilization process so you should note that after the sterilization process you can open your windows to let the ozone leave the room the smell is a little bit weird the ozone smell so that was the review of this uh, device and uh, i'll give the link of this product in my video description and i'll also give uh, other suggestions for a uh, cheaper uv sterilization devices this is a smart one it's a little bit expensive but i like this very much and it'll be very useful for the current pandemic thank you for watching please consider subscribing i'll see you next time